All right, folks, today we go, we're covering driving lesson in Wans, Wansville, Wansville, New York, driving lesson, all right? So we're gonna go with me here on a few observations and certain things that to be on the lookout, especially as a new driver going on, on your wood test, all right? So the tips that we are covering here will be beneficial for you, not only on your wood test, as well as driving in general, because these are the tips that's gonna carry with you for a long time of you're gonna be driving, all right? So for the purpose of the wood test here is a two lane street. I'm gonna keep them in the middle, window lane split. I'm gonna signal my attention, me watching shoulder, go over to my right side, okay? Because for the purpose of the wood test, you must always be on the right side of the road and you have to do this by yourself without the instructor is telling you this, all right? And for the purpose of the wood test also, we keep far right, okay? I'm keeping the closest lane I can keep to my right, all right? These are wood test steps, but in real life, you're driving wherever you want it to drive, all right? So we're coming up to an all-way stop sign here. We're gonna make a single stop where everybody can see everybody. Single stop here, completely, all right? We're observing nobody, the then we continue to go, all right? Is a yield on my left eye, is not for me, but I still acknowledge it, okay? Because sometimes people are um, crazy, they're just keeping out. You make sure that you're on top of it, all right? My second light is already yellow. I'm slowing down when I get there, I completely come to a nice and smooth stop, so I have no issue to that stop, all right? So this is a driving lesson here on Bronxville, Bronxville. There's a lot of um, tips and um, things that we want to cover here. The main thing we wanted is for you to get all the tips all the and, 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 and the juice as you're going for your wood test. It shouldn't be any issue for you, and that's very, very easy to you um to use the tips that are gonna be good for you make sure as you're driving for your water out all the time you have both hands at the stairwell all right seat belt is on and you've always paid attention to your surrounding before pulling up because oftentimes we see what happened when students they are driving and they're taking off not paying attention and somebody just cut them off the examiner have to hit the brake quick we do not want to do that all right we're always scanning the, in front of us we're always scanning the wood and see what's going on and never accelerate fully accelerate without making sure that all your surroundings are clear all right As you can see here i'm still scan, scanning all right i'm doing the purpose of the wood test i'm keeping my right side of the wood all right my the far right as possible when you're doing your wood test that's where you want it to be all right you don't want to be anywhere else it's not going to be very beneficial to you still always keep the right side of the wood all right today we're doing a driving lesson in um Bronxville for you to um get familiar with the surroundings okay so if you want us to cover the area that you, you live in if you're in brooklyn put it in the comment below we'll do a lesson in your backyard so it can give you an overview of things that to be um looking out for especially if you're gonna go for um for a water so right it's always good to know your surrounding and to know your do's and your don't and how to handle them in case in the event that the thing that the driving you do on the regular come up at the water so right so we've covered almost many of the areas in brooklyn and today this one is Bronxville, all right? So we're on London here, going going down, getting deeper on Bronxville, okay? All right. So far, so good. Traffic is moving good. I'm moving along, covering my brake, okay? How about um, still, still my speed limit? All right, it's a little bit bumpy, bumpy right here, and but you guys get different. As for what test tip, when you're driving in the street that had a lot of potholes and bumpy, you want to cover your brake. You do not want to accelerate because as you're accelerating, you will pick up more speed, okay? The bump themselves will make you picking up speed. If you're accelerating, making it worse, all right? I want you guys to get on that. When you're driving and it's a bumpy wood, you do not accelerate. You're covering the brake, let the car take you through. You sometimes have even to lessen the speed because the bump itself is bumping you up, making you go a little bit faster. You do not want that, especially for, um, for uh, at your wood test, you always make sure you stay within your speed, all right? So, yeah. if you have any question, if, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you can do that by hitting the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell icon. So each time we drop a video, you'll be the first one to be notified, right? So if you find if you find value in these videos, you can just give the video a like so we can help um, um, trigger the YouTube algorithms so more people can, this video can reach out to more people that who, who can be benefit, uh, uh, benefiting from this video. You can also share this video to families and friends uh, in the event that need any help because they can be watching the video alone. That will be very beneficial to them to help them in the, in the driving journey, all right? So we're doing a lesson today on Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York, all right? So 
we're gonna land in actually in Rocco, we're going deeper in Warrensville, all right? So, like I said again, any question in, any question and comment, just any question put in the comment below, any topic you want me to cover, put in the comment below. That's where we have all of our video topics coming from, all right? So we also will do, uh, one day I'm planning on doing a live Q&A or a live um, YouTube so you guys can ask me question live that you have anything that has driving related, all right? So we believe that by um, creating this channel will help you guys not only to en enhance your driving skills and also get your question answered from a real instructor because I'm an instructor here at Pierre Paul Driving School and the event that you live in, in the New York area in the metropolitan area you need to get help with your driving with your driving uh, endeavor or brush up your skills if you already have a driver we have IW lessons as well you can always uncheck or check the website pierrepauldriving.com to see what we have to offer and how we can help you in your driving journey right so we're getting deep on, on Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York. Um, just been here with um, Pierre Paul Driving School. We're gonna keep this video coming. Like I said, if you guys want us to cover something in particular or any area you want us to cover here in Brooklyn, you can um, put it in the comment below. We will definitely go ahead and cover those area with you with, and cover those lessons with you with no problem at all, all right? So keep in mind when you're driving, you have to be calm, don't be nervous demonstrated sense of um, responsibility make the exam and next so you feel comfortable that you got this you're not just winging it you know what i mean so you know what you're doing even that you, you're a student however but that doesn't mean that you don't know what you're doing most of most of the time we've been seeing people that are not passing their waters is not a lacking of driving is lack of confidence they're not too confident them themselves taking that they don't have it you do have it right remember the examiner themselves were once in your shoes where they have to do a work test. You know what I'm saying? So they're no different. They're human just like you and I. All we have to do is to compose ourselves and deliver on the work test and it should be a new issue for whatsoever for you to pass your work test with flying colors, all right? So once again, we cover Brown, Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York um, with a driving lesson. We're covering tips and tricks that will be very beneficial to you not only had you driving on the regular and taking your water, all right? We're coming up on a roundabout, on a circle. We're going to keep the far right, all right? We're keeping the closest lane that you are driving to, all right? And you don't get confused. A lot of people get confused here where they're all over the place, all right? See, I'm keeping to my right. Keeping to your right. You know, that's the main, that's the name of the game. Keeping to your right, okay? Now, we're driving here in Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York, all right? Seeing the car double park in front of me on the left side, I'm covering my brake to go around it slow. It ain't no rush, you see? Dropping this speed to as low as I can, still covering the brake. When you come to a double parking in a tight street, all right, do not accelerate. The thing that you want to do, keep your foot covering the brake. The car has enough strength to pull you, all right, to those, to those obstacles so you will be coming off very good with no issue. The problem is your foot on the accelerator and the event that somebody stops short or any of these things open up a door on you if you're an accelerator is not going to be in your favor, all right? You see my foot is on the brake and I'm coming to a stop. The car in front of me, I can see the tire on the ground. I'm doing everything within place for me to not only drive in safe, but also if I'm taking my work test to make the examiner next to me feel very safe that I know what I'm doing. You see the car's moving in front of me? I'm just taking off my foot of the brake, rolling up. No need to engage in the acceleration at this level. Now we have a heavy blind spot on the left in front of the car park to my left side. See, I'm creeping up. Once I clear my heavy blind spot, nobody come in here, okay? Now I engage with the acceleration, you see? Never fully engage accelerating any car unless you have a full view a full confidence you got a full clarity that is nothing coming your way there's no blind spot you cannot drive on a blind spot for the purpose of the word test they will fail you the test quick because driving on the blind spot is a perfect setup for an accident because you did not get a full clearance before you pulling off all right these are key components for you to pay attention to when you're taking your word test remember it's not about driving. It's how they want you to drive. Within 7 to 10 minutes, you'll be doing with the examiner in the car with you, all right? So failure to, under to understand that can lead you to um, um, to, a, to a negative negative result on your work test 
percent. Okay, so I'm going to run the circle. I say I decrease of the circle with no acceleration until I get a full clearance in front of me. Then I'm going to start engage on the acceleration. As I'm coming up uh, ahead, I'm paying attention with car on my right, and we also car can merge on my left, and the, the and the park car on my right side that got the brake on. Paying attention with everything on, on, on your surrounding. Coming up to a traffic light, I'm seeing the car in front of me is dropping speed, covering my brake rolling up to a nice and smooth stop all right if you're not delivering at this type of level with the dmv examiner while you're taking your word test then we have a problem all right you have to make sure you show the examiner full understanding full awareness of your surrounding this is how your test is gonna be going smooth and you will pass your test with no issue all right so and brownsville here in new york brooklyn new york it's a very busy area if you can see we're on pennsylvania and london have london avenue pennsylvania avenue and london and, and london boulevard down on my right side a few blocks up that's where they're giving water tests in star eye city all right so this is the layout this is the surrounding of where they're conducting water tests here in brooklyn new york is one of the area but give you an overview of the expectation of what you will be looking out for as you're doing lesson for as you're in your word test and as well as driving on the regular all right car in front of me is moving taking off very smooth i'm going straight keeping my right side as a student i must always on my right side of the road but driving on the regular you can be wherever you want it to be all right so car in front of me is red light in front of me is red the brake of the car in front of me also throwing a red that's just equivalent with the red light all right that's giving me a heads up that they're coming up to a stop i'm holding my brakes as well to let those people behind me know what am i doing all right folks um we keep pushing we're getting deeper i'm gonna go to the end of brown brownsville here with you in new york city in new york city and in, in, in brooklyn new york so you can have an overview of how they made up of the area of the areas are and also if you are from this surrounding give me a thumbs up in this video give me a like and also put your name um put your um concern put any question in the comment below if you want me to cover a specific area for you in brooklyn i will definitely go ahead and do so right once again like i said if you do need help with your driving look our website pierpoldriving.com and go on our website and see in any way that we can help you right remember driving can enhance your life one way or another you have some people that even making a driving for a living and they are living a wholesome life all right so as i'm coming up i see there's a um, um up ramp off ramp on the left where i can measure the traffic on my left but i'm paying attention also with the traffic that in front of me coming to a speed bump paying attention with fully details dropping the speed 15 miles per hour or less going over the speed bump okay forward planning i see there's a car merging up to my left side there's a yield not for me for them but always acknowledge that at the water test you're showing the examiner proof of acknowledgement proof of awareness of your surrounding you're full aware of what's going on all right these are the tips that we need when you take in when you take when you take your word test as well as doing you'll be observing at your driving lesson to be building up some confidence to go on your word test with no issue all right traffic light making the right turn signal my attention covering my right side i'm already bip, uh, beeping on the right mirror okay check my shoulder make my turn and fall onto my closest right lane all right that's what i'm talking about recover from that turn nice and smooth keep on my lane all right keep on your lane you do not want to make the turn and go all the way on the other side and do not know where to position yourself then it's a problem at the road test site all right now we're still driving in Brown brownsville new york all right so coming almost to the end here all right hey folks this is um a lesson that i had for you here on driving lesson on brownsville brooklyn new york all right so if you have any question put it in the comment below until then keep practicing this ben here with pierre paul driving school take care now